Hi guys, back with another video for you today. I want to talk to you about a new brand. Actually, they're not really new. They've been around for several years, but they're new to me called Accendis or Ascendis. And I want to talk to you about two of their fragrances. One's called Aklas, this one right here. The other one's called Floriolux, this one right here. And I'm going to discuss these fragrances to you or with you coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And if I'm ever doing giveaways and you are a winner, you won't miss out on the notifications to claim your prize. So Ascendis or Accendis is a new brand for me that I pretty much discovered through a friend who said, I know you're going to Exxon's, can you please pick up some samples for me? And I'm like, okay, I will bring up, uh, I'll, sure, I'll do it for you, I said. But I was planning on doing a video with them, but the weird thing was I was so sick uh, at uh, Exxon's, I completely missed the last day of the show to begin with. But um, I, I did end up going and meeting with the owner of uh, Exendis. Her name is Emmy Cesaroni. I think she's an owner, although she's a perfumer as well. Uh, she's on one of these fragrances. And I was supposed to go back, but I, I never, I never made, went and made it back to their, uh, to their stand. Or actually, I never made it back the last day. So the two fragrances that appealed to me the most, as I said, were called Aklis, which comes in this box, and Floriolux, which comes in this box. So we're just going to start with the A, Aklis, the black box here. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this fragrance. Aklas was launched in 2015. The perfumer is Emmy Cesaroni Rodriguez. I think that's how you say her name. And this retails for 165 euros. There, I mean, I couldn't find any information about these selling here in the States. So you might have to order them from Europe. But in Europe, I found a retailer that sold this for 165 euros. So I'm gonna basically open it for you. I'm gonna show you how beautiful the, bo uh, the bottles are. They're, they look like um, lighters, like large size cigarette lighters, at least to me. It could also kind of come off like a flask perhaps, but let's get started. So Ascendus is here, the name of the perfume Aklas is here. Um, it says Eau de Parfum 100 uh, ml bottle, and then there's a lot more information in the back. And this basically comes off like this, and we already saw this through the other. And then basically you open it up and this is how the fragrance is. So I'm gonna take it out and smell it for you. There's nothing else in here. Everything else was written on here, of course you saw. So a little more info about Aklas. This is it right here. This has top, I think it's an oud because uh, I noticed oud in the notes and uh, all that good stuff. But for top notes, you have bergamot, lemon. In the heart notes, you have orris, labdanum, angelica, wormwood, cardamom. In the base, you have cypriol oil, nagarmotha, gayak wood, oud, gurjan balsam. So, seems like an oriental woody fragrance to me, but let's go ahead and smell it and I'll tell you all about it. Absolutely love the way this sprays. The sprayer is amazing can see and immediately I'm picking up oudy kind of oriental Middle Eastern style of a scent but more on the fresh side and as it's drying uh, it's becoming a little more like earthy floral um, spicy as well and then I'm picking up that Cypriol oil Nagarmotha underlying and of course it gets deeper and deeper with the Gayak wood and the oud and so forth it's pretty gorgeous actually. It's woody, it's aromatic, it's big, it's bold. I don't know about its performance because this is the first time I'm testing it out or wearing it on camera for you, but um, it does have a little underlying, a little bit of like a um, mildewy, little bit uh, like earthy, woody slash how the oud is actually prepared. So you might have to dig that kind of like wet woody, mildewy kind of a smell, but I found it to be pretty beautiful. I think it's coming from the Nagarmotha because there's also this like underlying uh, papyrus-like smell or cypriol oil slash Nagarmotha. But it does have a creamy woodiness as well. I think that the Gayak wood gives it a little bit of creaminess. 
Gorgeous scent. I like it. I would put this to use. Um, it's a great looking bottle, as you can see. Um, I love this bottle. It's very fun. It's playful. Um, it's just pretty unique for a bottle. So this is a house called Ascendus. Guys, have you tried Ascendus Aklas, this fragrance? Do you know this brand? It's from Italy. Um, do check them out and check out Aklas. I think you'll like it if you are into uh, woody oud uh, fragrances. All right, let's move on to the next one. And the next one is Floria Lux in the white collection or the white bottle. So very similar, of course, just in a white color this time. Does that sound like it's a floral? Perhaps it is. And this definitely is a fruity floral fragrance according to some online databases. But uh, I like this because it looks like a book. But there's no like uh, anything on the spine, written on the spine, but still it kind of reminds me of a book. And then here is Floria Lux. So I'm going to spray Floria Lux on the other hand. But before I do that, this was launched in 2018. The perfumer is Maurizio Ceriza. Retails for 165 euros again. Again, I don't know if these are sold. I couldn't find any information if they are sold here in the States. But with this one in the top, you have bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, apricot, and wormwood. Okay, we have wormwood in both of these fragrances. And if you don't know what wormwood is, it's kind of like absinthe slash um, licorice, anise. Kind of has that kind of a smell. I can, I can see the, uh, the little bit of, of the wormwood in here, but not so much. Just a little. Um, so that's in the top notes. In the heart, you have osmanthus, iris, marigold, and suede. In the base, you have vetiver, patchouli, amber, and musk. So let's go ahead and smell it. Wow. Awesome sprayer. Look at that. Sprays great. Three sprays. So this is a very fruity floral, uh, but it's also, I'm smelling musk, like very clean, very, very clean, almost laundry clean, soapy clean musk here. Um, so it starts off very juicy, fruity at the top. There's a slight bit of, uh, what do you call it, powderiness, just a slight touch. And of course, there's also this like silky smoothness of this leather, the suede note. Uh, but it's definitely a musky one. It's fruity, it's floral, it's musky. But the floral is not, it's a white bottle. You're thinking it's going to be a white flower fragrance. It's definitely not a white flower fragrance. Um, I like this a lot. I think this is going to be, this seems like it's going to be heavy, big, bold. But I also see this I have something like I could wear in the summertime. Like this is definitely, if you want one of those fragrances that are kind of fresh and fruity and floral, but you don't want a weakling, you want this like beast. This comes off like a, a beastly kind of a, the way it sprays and the way it smells on me, it smells great. So this is a kind of fragrance I'm gonna put to use this coming summer to see how it does because I find this to be pretty loud as far as when it's sprayed on me. And I think it has to do with the way the sprays also. It hits the target really strong. It sprays really loud and it smells really loud as well. It's very, very clean. It's very clean actually. This is ultra clean and musky. Like it's a clean white musk underlying with the clean floral citruses on top. I really like this one actually. I like this one more than this one. Even though I like this one too, this is Oud. Uh, I'm kind of getting burnt out on oud personally, but I like it. But this one is something that's different that I don't have. It's beast, floral, fruity kind of a uh, scent. So I'm definitely going to put this one to use because summer's around the corner and we'll see how it does in the heat because I think this is going to do amazingly in the heat. So there you have it. We have Aklas here and we have Floria Lux here. Guys, do you know this brand, Ascendus? Let me know if you have any experience with them. Go check them out. I'll put a link to their website in the info box. Research them and see if you can pick up any samples or decans or something from somewhere or buy full bottles. I'll have a link to all that information below. Let me know if you've tried or sampled this house. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.